Psyche Truth. Life Wisdom. Hello, Jen Hillman here. And today I'd like to share with you guys some yoga poses that can really help to elevate your mood. I know there are some people who are dealing with depression and yoga is a really effective way to help treat feelings of depression. So I'm going to guide you through some heart opening poses that will help release some endorphins and help you to feel better emotionally as well as physically. So go ahead and find a space in your living room or in your bedroom, wherever you are, and let's get started. So we'll begin just in a comfortable seated position. So our practice today is not meant to be super challenging. It's really more about just getting your body moving and starting to get some blood flowing and starting to make yourself feel better just by taking this time to work into your body. So we'll just start in a nice, comfortable, easy seat. We're gonna do a little seated cat and cow pose. So bring your hands onto your knees, then reach your heart forward and open your shoulders back. So you want to roll your shoulders open so your shoulder blades move together on your back and you stretch your heart and chest forward. You can even lift your chin and lift your gaze a little bit. Then moving in the opposite direction, you're going to round your spine Tuck your chin in towards your chest. And here, I'm even rocking back on my sacrum a little bit. You can use your hands to pull on your knees, to pull back, and this gives you a nice stretch along the back of your spine. Then coming forward again. Open through your chest, lift your gaze, and then round your spine, rocking back. So this is the movement. You can go at your own pace. There's no need to rush. You can take your time. We'll just do this a few times. So yoga is one really great way to treat feelings of depression, to really help yourself feel better, release some endorphins, get your heart and blood pumping. But there are lots of ways to treat depression. Leave me a comment below and let me know what are your suggestions? What are ways that help you when you're feeling a little down? By having this conversation, we can share information that can help each other. So leave us your comments below. And while you're at it, go ahead and favorite this video so you can come back and practice with me again. We'll take this final moment here to stretch your spine. Then go ahead and come all the way up back to a nice tall seat. So let's take a little spinal twist here. So bring your left hand across to your right knee and your right hand back behind you. Lift up really tall in your spine, so you create a lot of space in between the vertebrae. Then twist towards the right, using the leverage of your left hand to help you twist your shoulders around. Keep lifting up tall in your spine. And continue a nice deep breath. One last cycle of breath here. Full inhale. And full exhale. And come back to center. We'll switch to the other side. Bring your right hand across to your left knee. Bring your left hand behind you. Sit up nice and tall. And twist. Keep lifting through your spine and use the strength of your right arm 
This is going to help you twist even deeper in your spine. Last breath here. And make your way back to center. Nice. Now to continue with this heart opening, this chest opening, interlace your hands behind your back. Make a nice fist with your hands. Squeeze the palms of your hands together. Then lift your hands away from your hips. So you can start to straighten through your elbows to lift your arms up as much as you can. And you might feel a nice gentle stretch across your sternum and across your collarbones, stretching your chest open. And lift your gaze slightly here. And release. Bring your hands back around in front, interlace your fingers again. This time, turn the palms of your hands up to the sky and press up as tall as you can. Really press as if there was something heavy that you're pushing away with your hands. So you're really using the strength of your arms, using the strength of your core and your back to press up. Keep pushing, press up as tall as you can. And then release. Let your arms float down. And let's repeat that cycle. So interlace your hands behind your back. This time, bring the opposite thumb and forefinger on top. So it might feel a little awkward this way, but this is gonna help create balance. So interlace your hands, squeeze your palms together. And then start to lift your hands up away from your hips peeling your chest open. Lift your gaze. Stay with your breath. Keep reaching your hands back. And release. And again, interlace your hands in front kind of with the awkward correct clasp. And then turn your palms forward and press your hands up towards the sky. So really press and lift as tall as you can. shoulders and then we're going to come onto your back or onto your belly so you're gonna lay all the way down so you can swing your legs around behind you and roll over onto you. and we'll continue here with some exercise that will strengthen your back as well as helping to open your chest so place your hands alongside your chest, right underneath your shoulders, and hug your legs together nice and strong. And the first, the very, very first thing you're going to do is just lift your shoulders up towards the sky. So you're not gonna do any other action, just lift your shoulder bones up to the sky. And you're gonna feel the muscles in your back start to squeeze together and then start to activate. So that's what we want. You wanna feel your upper back starting to engage. So with your shoulder bones lifted to the sky, slowly start to peel your heart away from the floor, curling your chest up. Keep moving your shoulder bones back as you lift your heart up. So you're not gonna just push into your hands and shrug your shoulders up to your ears. This is really about strengthening your back 
and using the power and strength of those muscles to help you lift up. So you could even try lifting your hands away from the floor. So I'm really using my upper back, which is stronger than your arms anyway. So one more moment here, lift and curl up through your chest. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, just curl back down, release. And then interlace your hands behind your back again, down towards the base of your spine. Now again, lift your hands up away from your hips, reaching your fists towards the sky. So now you've got your shoulders open and your chest is open. Your shoulder blades are moving towards your spine. Then again, use the strength of your upper back muscles to peel your heart away from the floor. Lifting up. You can open your throat, lift your gaze slightly. Keep reaching with your fists. Take one more inhale. Lift as high as you can. And release down. Gently unclasp your hands. And bring them back to the floor alongside your chest. So we're going to take that cobra pose again. So first things first. Lift your shoulder bones up so you feel that activation in your upper back. Once you feel that muscle engagement, then start to peel your chest up away from the floor. Stay present with your breath, with every movement. If it becomes difficult to breathe, come out of the pose, catch your breath, and try again. Using the strength of your upper back, curl your heart up. Take one more full breath in. And exhale to release back down. And then again, go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back. Bring the opposite thumb and forefinger on top so it's that kind of awkward grasp. Then stretch your hands up towards the sky as much as you can. You're going to feel this in your shoulders at first. So stretch into your shoulders here. And then slowly start to peel your heart up. Keep reaching your fists back, back, back. So you're really peeling your chest open. Let your heart be broad. Use your breath. Take one more inhale and lift as high as you can. And then release. Release your hands down. Now this time, press yourself up and bring your left forearm parallel with the front edge of your mat. And if you're not on a mat, it's okay. Just bring your forearm parallel with your shoulders. Then bend your right knee and reach back with your right hand to grab a hold of your foot. So you're going to see that your shoulder starts to open. Now, sometimes people want to grab their foot this way, grabbing the outside of your ankle, and notice that makes your shoulder come forward. So if you rotate your hand to the inside of your foot, then your shoulder bone rotates open. So that's the one we want to go for. So try and reach for the inside of your foot here. Now, using the strength of your leg, I want you to kick back. And you'll notice that it starts to peel your chest open. So you're getting a nice stretch through your pecs. And also building a little strength in your quads as well. And then gently release. And pull again. Kick back. Use the strength of your leg. Feel your chest stretch open. And release. And one more time. Kick back. 
Really activate the strength of your legs. Peel your chest open, lift through your gaze. And release. Release your right leg down. Bring your right arm in place of your left arm. And we're gonna move to the other side. So bend your left knee, reach back to the inside of your ankle. With your chest open wide, kick back with the strength of your left leg to peel your heart open. And release. And kick back again. So really use the strength of your leg. Kick back so much that you feel that stretch in your chest. You really want to feel your pecs opening. And release, and we'll go one more time. So now kick back. Use the strength. Building strength and flexibility at the same time. This is the power of yoga. And release. Good. Go ahead and lower your left leg down. Take a moment here to breathe. And now we're going to try it with both feet. So this is kind of a next level challenge. If you don't have the flexibility to get both feet at the same time, that's okay. You can do one leg at a time again. So now we're reaching back for both feet. Once you have a hold of the insides of your ankles, kick back with the strength of your legs to peel your chest open. You're going to be building the strength in your legs and your low body while opening and brightening your heart and chest. Release it down. If you're doing one at a time, go ahead and switch to the other side. If you're doing both at the same time with us, be ready to start kicking back both legs. And release. Great job, you guys. All right, so from here, we're going to press up to your hands and knees, coming into a tabletop position. So once you're on your hands and knees, now we're going to come back into that cat and cow exercise. So again, lift your heart, roll your shoulder bones back so your chest is open, lift your gaze, and lift your tailbone so you create a nice arc in your spine. Then scoop your belly in, start to round your spine. Tuck your chin to your chest. And press your hands into the floor so you really round your spine a lot. Then again, coming forward, lift your heart, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze, and then round. Press into the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest. Press your spine to the sky. And again, come open. So you can take a moment to find your own rhythm, to find your own pace, to just continue moving through this cycle. Start to bring it to a close. Take your last round and come back to neutral spine. 
So I'm coming back to this neutral spine. I'm going to go ahead and sit all the way up onto your knees. If you need an extra padding under your knees, you can fold your mat in half, and that can give you a little extra cushion. Or you can use a blanket underneath, and that can also give you some added support. Then once you're on your knees, go ahead and tuck your toes underneath you. This is gonna give you a little more support and stability through your legs, and also make it easier to get into this next pose. So this is our final back bend of our practice today, moving into camel pose. So we'll start by bringing your hands towards your sacrum. So I'll move my mic out of the way a little bit so I have some room here. So you bring your hands flat across your sacrum. With your fingertips pointing down, start to roll your shoulders open a little at a time. Lift your chest and lift your gaze. So you can stay right here. If this is your maximum back bend, just stay right here. Breathe, stay calm, lift your chest, and open your heart. If you'd like to take this a step further, you can start to reach back for your heels grabbing towards the insides of your ankles. Again, so you can lift your chest, open your throat, and breathe. We'll start to come back out of it the same way we went in. So if your hands are on your heels, bring them back towards your hips and press yourself all the way up. We can take this back bend one more time for good measure, to feel really great about yourself, to give yourself a nice healthy challenge. So with your hands on your hips, Roll your shoulders open, peeling your chest open, lift through your heart, lift through your gaze. And even on your second time around here, you can stay right here if you want to. This is a very nice back bend. And if you'd like to take it a step further, reach for your heels. Leaning back. Lift your heart up. Open your throat. and breathe. Then we'll start to reverse this process, bringing your hands back to your hips and press yourself all the way back up. Now let's go ahead and come back down onto the mat, sitting all the way down. And now you can recline all the way onto your back. Once you're on your back, draw your right knee into your chest and squeeze your knee in close. And slowly start to twist your right knee across to the left side. Try and bring your knee all the way down to the floor. Your shoulder may come up off the floor a little bit. That's okay. Just open your arm out to the side and you'll feel again a gentle stretch in your chest. You can bring your 
Left hand on top of your right knee for some added support. And just take some nice deep breaths here. Last breath here. And gently make your way back to center. And draw your right knee in one more time. And release it down to the floor. And we'll work to the other side. Draw your left knee up and in. Squeeze it tight. Then twist your left knee across to the right. Try and bring your leg all the way to the floor. And it's okay if your left shoulder comes up a little bit. Just open your arm out to the left side to stretch through your chest. You can use your right hand on your left knee to assist you in this stretch. And just close your eyes and let your breath start to deepen. And as you're ready, slowly start to make your way back to center. Hug your left knee in one more time. And extend your leg down to the end of your mat. I'm going to come into a final resting pose here. So let your feet fall open to the sides so your hips are relaxed. Let your palms rotate up towards the sky, so even here, your chest and shoulders are open. Let your jaw relax. Let your eyes relax. Let your belly and your breath relax. And even let your thoughts relax. Please feel free to stay and enjoy this time of relaxation for as long as you need. And I thank you so much for taking this time to share in this practice with me. Depression is a serious thing that affects a lot of people, but yoga is a truly powerful tool that can help us to feel better in our body and to feel better in our heart and in our emotions. So I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Leave me your feedback, favorite this video, and come back and practice often. You can also visit my website, jenhillman.com, to learn more about me. And you can always subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel to get access to hundreds of helpful videos. Thanks for watching. Namaste. Namaste.